Wow. Okay. Okay. Tidy up time. I spent most of my day tidying up. I already had to tidy up to make this mess. Hey tribe, welcome to HD Designs Crochet, HTDC. This is my channel all about crochet and yarn and knitting and all that good stuff. Um, today is more studio vlog style because I have a task that I'm gonna get you to help me with. So I'm in my yarn room. Part of my yarn tower is behind me. And what I'm gonna do today is I'm going to catalog all of the yarn that I have that I need to use up so you may or may not know that I'm actually doing a major D stash. So this tower usually goes up to the ceiling. There's another big tub of yarn down here. And what I'm doing is I am reducing it all from the big tower to this part and the one that's down on the floor. So in effect, I'm only keeping my double knit yarn and all of the other weights I'm using up. So the four ply, um, I've got additional double knit there like that are in sweater quantities, so I'm gonna use them up. And then I've got some Aran and some bulky and some super bulky. And then the part at the bottom is miscellaneous sewing bits and pieces that I will clear out at some point. Um, so, Yes, I've set myself the task of de-stashing all of this because I am then going to be moving into um, a garden office, my shed, and all of this would just be too much to have in there with me. So, what's my plan? My plan is to have a quick tidy up in here so that there's a bit more floor space. I'm going to take the two pots that are allowed to stay out of here and then all of the rest of the yarn I'm going to spread out on the floor and I'm going to catalogue it and I've decided to do that on an excel spreadsheet. I know that Ravelry has this function um, but somebody commented on my post when I said I was doing a D stash and I'll add their name here. They commented on my Instagram and said that they had it all in a spreadsheet and I thought that's just perfect, that's exactly what I need. So I am going to do that. The reason I'm doing that is because then I will know exactly how much yarn I've, I have here to use up. So is it five kilos? Is it 20 kilos? Like I don't actually know. Um, I'll also then have a quick reference. So if there's a project I want to work on, then I can have a look through my yarn and see what might be um, most suitable for it. I just want to have a way of like showing what I'm using. Um, so I've got a couple of hours to get it done now. I've already done my morning workout and I figured before I shower and get myself clean, I'll go through all of this just because, um, I don't know, it just seemed like a bit of a grimy job. I'm still in my workout gear from earlier this morning and I figured it would be a good time to just spend a couple of hours working on this and then I think I'm going to go on my afternoon walk. I'm hoping in those couple of hours that I'll have got all of this done. Um, so yes, let's have a tidy up, then we'll spread the yarn out and then we'll have a little bit of a guess between us, like how much yarn we think is, is there in weight. I think that would be fun to do. Okay, tidy up. Um, so as you can see, this room is quite big, but it ends up being a little bit of a dumping ground in the week because when I'm with Albie, I tend to um, come in and out. Albie is my dog, in case you're wondering, he's a puppy. And because he's a downstairs dog, I will come in, grab what I want and then leave everything else. And I haven't had a midweek, a midweek, midweek tidy up. So we're gonna do that now. Let's do it, shall we?
I know that I look incredibly tired, but I'm actually feeling a whole lot better than I have done in quite some time. So rest assured, I'm sleeping really well, eating really well, building up my stamina through exercise, and I'm hoping that over time these will reduce. And also you normally see me with makeup on, um, not loads, but enough to make that less noticeable. So we good. Okay, so I've laid out the yarn that I am de-stashing. And when you take out the two parts of DK that I'm keeping, like it doesn't seem that intimidating. Um, so what I'm gonna do is open up my Mac, get some music playing, or maybe I'll listen to my audiobook. Because mm. I am quite addicted to Audible. I got um, a login issue with my library app, which allows me to listen to audiobooks for free. And what with being ill and a few other things, I still haven't gotten around to going there to getting it sorted out. I called, but they couldn't do it over the phone. So I am loving Audible and I'm listening to quite a few of the free ones that are included with the membership. Just love putting an audiobook on whilst I'm working. So I might put an audiobook on. Let me know if you want me to share what I've been listening to, I'm more than happy to. Um, and then whilst I do that, I'm gonna fill out my spreadsheet, um, the columns on my spreadsheet. I think I'm just gonna have like, um, like the brand, the color, or the dye lot, maybe both, the quantity and the weight, um, and potentially even where I got it from, if I can remember that. Um, so yes, we've got this pot in here, there's loads of pink, it's all gonna fall out. I got all of this yarn from the pound shop. It's one pound fifty for three balls. So 150 grams for one pound fifty. I got loads of the glitter one and I made a curtain that was at my previous home, um, which I never did take down. So either they've got it or they let it go. Um, but, am I sad about that? Like a little bit, but whatever, I enjoyed making it. So I've got this, and I know there's enough there that I could make um, some sort of garment. And same with that, there's more than enough there to make a garment. And then I've got some random balls, which I purchased just to try out um, and swatched with. I actually have a design in mind that might use that up now. Um, so that's in the big DK part. Then I've got um, our room back here and in here is all my four ply. <laughs> I think this is the one that will take me the longest to use up. So I've got quite a lot of cotton in here, which I am looking forward to crocheting and knitting in because it really holds the texture. So there's quite a lot of that. It's mainly all drops, if I'm being honest. And then I've got quite a lot of sock yarn in this colour, which again is drops. Started making a jumper, but that needs frogging. And I've also got a lot of my own hand dyed, my own, as in I own them, I didn't dye them, hand dyed yarn in here. This one is um, Fruit Punch by Siobhan Crafts. And I've got this one, which was um, by Hey J Yarns, and I can't remember the name, but I think it's like Zingy or something like that. Um, another one here, this is Black Rose by Dina Home of Crafts. And yeah, there's more hidden under here. I'll show you some more as I unbury it. And then, I've got this bag of Arin yarn and it was gifted to me from Mr. B yarn. Uh, originally, I was sent a really big bag which was really, really kind of them to use up and originally I was going to keep the green, the yellow and a grey and then I decided that it would be better if I kept the two greens and made something out of them. So this is 
a little bit of a swatch that I tried out just to see how it builds up. It's so lovely and squishy. Um, it's quite thick though, like almost to the point where I feel like it could pass as a chunky. But anyway, um, so I've caked up the ones I was originally keeping, but I haven't caked up the new ones. But that does have a project assigned to it, and I think that's another column that I'll put in. I'm going to include a column of potential projects, and then I can always put the link to it or even a picture so that I know what has been assigned to each thing. So I'm really looking forward to using that, but as you know, I've got one knitting and one crochet project at a time, so that is going to be cast on after I finish my current project. I've got lots of this Audi yarn. Actually, I don't have that much left, but um, I'm quite a fan of it. This is entirely full of black DK yarn. I bought it because I, I just love the colorful granny squares joined in black. Um, I'm gonna add this into the D stash just because I don't know how. I want it all to fit in the two parts, so maybe if I can get this to fit in the two parts that I'm keeping, then it doesn't matter. But if I can't, then I need to add some of it in. It might be a tad excessive, the amount that I've got, because I think there's like two kilos in there. Um, this is the Aran that I am currently using on a project. And once this project is done, that's when I'll go on to the Mr. B yarn. It's um, a really rustic yarn. It's in this beautiful greege color. It's like a brown gray. And it's by Polo and Co. Um, and there was 600 grams of this and I started the Aran project around the time I decided on the D stash. And this is something I beelined for first because I've had it for quite a few years now. Um, if you go back to my last vlog, which was my July and August sit down crochet chat with you, um, you'll know that I actually did the backs and the fronts of a cardigan, a jacket, a coatigan, and decided to make a bigger size, so I've actually started that again. I can show you the progress as well. And then I've got this big tub of Aaron. Let me show you this first. This is basically my scrap yarn pot. And what I've done is um, anything that I've swatched, made and not needed, maybe I've made too many granny squares, um, abandoned whips, it's all been shoved in here. So most of it just needs ripping down so that it can be reused. Um, some of it has got big enough bits that I could add it into the two parts because it's mainly, other than that, all double knit weight. There might be a tiny bit of four ply but I doubt it. So that is something that I can do. You know when you need a new project to start or you re like you're just bored of your current project, you want to start something else? I'm trying to get myself to come to this and then to unwind it. Um, any bits that are too small, I've been making scrap yarn balls like this, which then can be used in projects such as my example sweater and other ones I've got in my mind. Some of it is yarn bath, which is this. Yarn bath is where all of your skeins of yarn get jumbled and tangled like this, maybe because you keep pulling them out and you're not winding the ends back up. Maybe your puppy gets hold of it and makes a great big mess out of it on the floor, in the grass, when it's your last ball. And then you get this, and then rather than untangling it, you just chop out the tangle, and put the tangle to one side, and there's a fair bit of that in there as well. So what I want to do is, um, between my dad and Brad's dad, both of them like to undo things for me, like yarn bath. So I might um, go through and bag up smaller bags and then every time I see them over the next couple of months, just give them another bag to keep untangling. 
um, because there's a lot, there's a lot. Um, and then this will be come, um, oh, that's interesting to see that in there. Yeah. This will then become whatever I decide to design with it. But I keep my scraps and make things like this. So we're going to weigh that. I think that must be at least four or five kilos of scraps. Maybe. Abandoned whips. And then the biggest part that we have here is my iron weight. Let me tip you. Can you see? It's the biggest part by far. I have been collecting iron weight yarn, as you can see, for quite some time. Um, I have always been drawn to it because my nanny knits iron weight jumpers with like the beautiful cabling, um, which you might know as iron knitting, cable knitting, Gansies, Gansies, all those th types of things. Um, and I've always wanted to be able to do it, but it was always something that I didn't quite have the time to invest in it and maybe not the skills to get started. Um, but that didn't stop me collecting the yarn, evidently. So, um, I've got a lot of this yarn. This is an abandoned swatch that needs undoing. Um, because sometimes when I get ideas, I just come up and immediately swatch things and then it doesn't work and I just leave them alone. Okay, let's get this out of the way. I have a lot of this yarn, um, it was gifted to me by my nanny. It's a really nice tweedy yarn, it's a off-white and then it's got um, flecks of almost, it almost looks black actually, I think it, you could go as far as a deep charcoal and then oatmeal and tan um, and it's again very rustic, I think it might be 100% wool but I'd have to check with her. Um, I actually was gifted like over a kilo of that by my nanny and I've finally skinned it up. I've got some random um, chunky paint box in pink, I've got some iron. All of these were gifted to me from friends that were doing D-stashes. I've got, um, this is Stylecraft pink, old leftovers. Um, this is a double knit weight almost a fall ply weight because it's quite thin. We was told it was iron weight but it's a lot thinner. It's uh, again tweedy but it's got tiny bits of blue in it. I'm thinking of holding this double and it'd be really nice with mohair as well. I've got um, almost 600 grams of this I think which again this is why the um, <laughs> This is why my spreadsheet's gonna be so useful because then I'll know exactly how much I've got. But I'm thinking of doubling this up and then holding it with mohair. Um, and then I've got some random errands that I purchased or was gifted that I wanted to swatch. I think this one's beautiful. It's got some really warm yellow and um, uh, rust color flex in there and then this one is just very earthy with the um, tan and the black flex. I actually made a big swatch out of that which I don't want to disturb. Let me show you. See? That cable, that cable swatch was made out of this yarn um, and again more that I bought to swatch with I didn't actually like this one once it's swatched up. It reminds me of um, like an orchid, apple trees. 
green and red apple trees with their blossom, but I don't actually like it and I wouldn't wear it. Um, more randoms. And then I've also got about 400 grams of plain Erin. Again, gifted to me by my nanny. I think this is gonna become a vest, so yes. This is the mix of the yarn from my nanny this one and then the one that we purchased this one together and then this is the other one gifted to me by my nanny I've got some Erin I'd started a project a crochet jumper or was it going to be a cardigan and I really like the effect the stitch has but I just worried it'd be boring for people to make but I do think like a really simple garment is sometimes just required. So I may persevere with that. Um, I've got almost 400 grams of this. I've actually made an Aaron cardigan out of this already. I think this is gonna become a jumper for a family friend, a baby. And then there's this, and I have over a kilo of this. It is Shetland Tweed Chunky by Woolcraft. Uh, calls for six mil knitting needles. And the shade is 1422. It's this really nice pink. 77% acrylic, 20% wool and 3% viscose. And I really love the, the fact that it was bright pink and it's tweedy. And I actually found a pattern in one of my grandmother's um, magazines that I wanted to knit. So we rushed out to get the yarn. I had my needles, so that was fine. And um, we photocopied the pattern at her local library. And then I'd cast it on and my gauge was all over the place. I actually now realise that I'm quite a loose knitter and crochet, so I always need to size down on what is whatever the pattern calls for. Um, and it was kind of complex in terms of, I basically don't knit. Um, I started knitting, I taught myself how to knit socks, but they weren't the best bestest. The fit wasn't great, the heels weren't great, but I did them. Um, and then I kind of lost interest for a while and then I've decided to jump back in and I've knitted um, an Aaron cardigan and now I'm doing my jacket. Before that I'd done one chunky um, like garter stitch jumper that didn't really have any shaping or anything and was hugely oversized and as it stretched over time was too big. So basically no knitting and then I cast this on without swatching and also it was like a hundred and something stitches. We had the TV on, I had my nanny talking and I just couldn't do it. Whereas now I know that I could do it and I could get it done quickly. Um, I'm not sure that I, that I would wear this much pink. So why I went for it, I don't know. I kind of wish I'd gone for more muted, but I also think it will make a really nice warm jumper or cardigan to have on in the house, especially now we're going into winter. As I said, I've got like over a kilo of this. So what I'm gonna do is get my Mac on, get some music going, and I'm going to set a timer for 45 minutes and I'm going to um, add all of this to my spreadsheet so that I can start tracking my D stash in earnest. I'm gonna quickly show you how much yarn is here and then I want you to start guessing below how much you think there is in weight so whether you do that in grams ounces kilos whatever it is um and i will tell you my guess once i've done my pan round okay okay tribe so ignore the swatch board that's not part of it however that bag of black and all of this yarn including the pots all of this all of this all of this all of that, not that, that's a project. All of this is my D stash pile. <laughs> um, I've emptied out quite a bit of that so you can see, but don't be fooled by this one because it is quite deep and there is quite a lot in there. Um, obviously the whip won't be included. So 
I'm going to rip that down so it won't be a whip so I will be including that um, but just so you know these are 50 gram balls and I think there's about 10 to 20 of those in there alone and then in terms of 100 gram skeins like this I have about five to six really nice ones like that in there um I need to cake this one up there's a lot I think I've got about eight of the 50 gram balls in that color alone and then I've got loads of minis in there as well so there's a lot and yes carpet's fluffy I need to hoover so put your guesses below how much yarn do you think <laughs> I have here in this pile to de-stash it also includes my scraps Sixteen twenty gram mini skeins, all in various colours, mainly pinks, purples, there's a little bit of green, a little bit of blue, sixteen of them. Sixty-four pound average for this pile of yarn, the most expensive yarn in my collection. I still don't know what I want to make out of them. I keep thinking of Granny Square Blanket, but I don't know. I just feel like I can't justify it. It's a lot for a blanket that I probably won't use. Um, so then my other thinking was... So then the other thing on my list is socks. And I've got like 80 grams of this plane that I could put in with them. So I could have like lots of random toes and cuffs heels and I could also make scrap yarn socks out of my expensive yarn. I don't know, I need to work on that. There's 320 grams in my mini skeins and I need about 50 grams to make a pair of socks. So once I've started mixing in the plain and I have actually got some black as well but it just picks up all of the fluff. Um, but by the time I've mixed in a solid colour with it, that could go quite far. Okay, next up, I think I'm going to pick out my hand dyed skeins and then go on to some of the bigger bits, bigger piles. I've been collecting Aran Weight worsted weight yarn for a little while because I've always been really, really fascinated by the way um, that my nanny used to, that, not used to, it's not past present. Did you make your guesses? I didn't make my guess, but in my head I was thinking like, it didn't even make sense, my guess didn't make sense because I said that I thought this was about 5 kg. It's actually two and a half, 2,600 grams. Um, 
But then I was like, well that plus the three tubs of yarn. I mean, in my head I was like, it can't be more than like five kilo, can there? Which, that doesn't even make sense. Um, anyway, I had thought that there would be like, at most 10 kilos of yarn to use up in this D stash. Um, because I have already done quite a big D stash, so when Brad and I moved in together, I donated a lot of yarn to friends and charity shops. Um, and I think I didn't weigh it, but now thinking back, I must have donated about 30 kg worth of yarn. So um, that is the equivalent of 300, 100 gram balls easily um because it was odds and ends stuff i knew i wouldn't use some had um different blends in that allergy wise just don't work for me i cannot deal with alpaca and um, just different bits and pieces so like my yarn tower could actually fit because i had that much yarn that the tower i also had like extra on here and i just couldn't i just couldn't so having gotten rid of absolutely loads, I've just weighed it all. I hope that you've placed your bets. I have 20,182 grams of yarn to de-stash. That's the equivalent of 201, almost 202 balls of this to use up. Now, yes, I know some of it is iron, so it'll be quicker. But quicker. Some of it is four ply, so it'll take longer. Um, 100 grams of iron is not the equivalent of 100 grams of four ply. I know all of that. Um, so I'll probably work out how many meters and yards that is as well. But whoa! I totaled it all up on my spreadsheet. And then I went and had my lunch. So I've been sitting with this information for about 45 minutes and I am still like, what? 20 kilos, what? Um, yes. So interestingly, my four ply is by far the biggest stash because um, I have an entire tub full of it and obviously they're smaller balls, so yeah, uh, lots of socks and something in my future. Um, I might even hold a lot of it double to make it quicker. And then I think my next steps are to jot down in my spreadsheet what projects I could potentially work on with the yarn so like I know for example what I want to do with my Mr. B yarn I know what I want to do with some of the Aran um, this is a whip but I counted it because I know that if I don't include it I'm not likely to finish it and if I rip the whip out I would count the yarn anyway so um, this I started a jumper I've got a jumper plan for this yarn so yeah, wow, okay, okay, 200 balls of DK. I don't really know what to say. Like 200 balls, if you think it takes me like 300 grams of yarn, three balls of yarn to make revival. And I've got 200 to use up. Yeah. So, and to be fair, there isn't one more whip in there that I should probably add in. But because it's double knit, I've chosen to omit it because it's going to be a blanket. Maybe I should add that in as well and then it'll push it up to like, I don't know. 
there must be about 300 grams in that as well. Uh, yes, so at least now as I work through projects I can add up how many grams I've used up, how many yards or meters I have knit or crocheted, um, and how much is remaining. 200! I am hugely excited for a lot of these projects. I've got um, some really, really beautiful yarns here to work with. I've got the Mr. B yarns, I've got the Chevron's Crafts, I've got Dina Homer Crafts, I've got Hey J yarn. I have got so many mini skeins by so many different people. I know I've got Mothy and the Squid. I know that I've got Martin's Lab. There's just so, so many. Um, and I am also excited because of the design opportunities that it's also going to give me. Um, I've definitely found that when you have limited resources, creativity does really, really well. I sometimes find when I've got a million and one choices that creativity just dwindles. And I think it's that like paralysis of having to make the decisions. Decision fatigue and overwhelm paralysis. Um, so because I have limited resources, 20 kilos of yarn, not limited, but I have to use this yarn um, and I know what sort of projects I want to make, I have started to get really creative with the way I'm going to be using things up. And some yarns I thought that maybe I wouldn't find anything for, I have found a use for, so that's exciting. Um, so, right now, having had lunch, I've done a couple of chores around the house, like hang the washing out and things like that. Um, I'm going to have some crochet time because I have a project to finish, which is going to be um, a pattern that I'm hoping to release very, very soon. Um, so you are most welcome to sit with me and to crochet. Shall I tidy up first or just dive into the... <laughs> I'll tidy up. Then we have a quick tidy up to make space for us both and then we shall sit and have a little bit of crochet time. How about that? Okay, tidy up time. I spend most of my day tidying up. I already had to tidy up to make this mess. One other thing to add is I did all of the weighing with a pair of kitchen scales. I just put the mixing bowl on top, pressed the button so it was at zero and added in yarn. And then if I couldn't get the whole amount of the yarn in in one go, I'd do half and then do the next bit and then just add it up in Excel. You don't need fancy equipment. Tidy, tidy, tidy time. I am making granny squares for a secret project plural. There's like two secret projects in this. You can see a bit of a glimpse, glimpse, a little bit of a glimpse of something here, but I'm not going into details because you know I work best when I just keep it quiet and I'm like, pow, look what I made, pow, look what I made. So, we're working with that. Um, my black, twinkle yarn Albie got hold of it it's an absolute mess I might drop it off at Brad's dad's to see if he can salvage it um, and I did see another ball of it and I don't so let's do some crochet uh, I'm using a 5mm hook and I'm going to add some of the black around my granny squares so that they look like this, ready to be joined.